much to stack. Yes, construction is his knack. He sacked like Lego maniac. Poor kid who likes to build, and when he builds, he likes to snack. Zack, Zack, I'm a Lego maniac. Hi, I'm Zach Sedawong. And on today's interactive build, interactive you say, how can it be interactive? You will find out. We are gonna build the Lego NASA Discovery Space Shuttle Kit. <coughs> Let's get right to it. This kit comes in a massive box. It's huge. Front, back, that's good enough for the unboxing. Let's see what's inside. Okay, inside there's this nice and huge instruction booklet with 503 steps. I don't know how long that's gonna take me to build. I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna say I can build it in 10 hours. For those of you who are younger, like my daughter, the space shuttle was NASA's first reusable spacecraft. Start the clock, Hershey bar number one. Okay, here's our first trivia while I go ahead and build. The question is this, can you name the three parts that make up the space shuttle? What are they? If you get it right, answer on the poll up here. Future Zach here. Not the one who's actually making this video, but the one who's editing it a week from now. And it turns out, YouTube canceled the option for me to add polls. <laughs> but this video can still be interactive. Just go ahead and keep track of your answers. And then, comment below. Tell me how you did. Okay, let's get back to the video. And the handoff to Atlantis' onboard computers. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and human. The three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. And the bird's eye view from the external tank camera of external tank separation. Atlantis now in its preliminary orbit. En route now to the International Space Station. Pilot Jim Dutton now taking over controls of the shuttle for a moment. It's currently 3,500 3, feet and uh, traveling at a rate of 370 miles per hour. Main gear touchdown. Pilot Jim Dutton now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Checking the build clock, and we have one hour and 15 minutes into this build. This is the Hubble Space Telescope. It's what we built first. The Hubble Space Telescope was carried up in the shuttle in 1990. It was launched out of the cargo bay and is still in low Earth orbit today. It is still operational and is responsible for capturing some of the deepest images of the universe that we have, some over 13 billion light years away. So the three parts of the space shuttle were the Orbiter itself, like the crew capsule, the plane, the solid rocket booster, and the external fuel tank. Three parts. I'm gonna get started on the next part of the build, and while I'm doing that, can you name all five shuttles? Hmm, think about it. See if you can guess all five. Tell me how many you can guess in the poll above. about half of our first Hershey bar so far. So it looks like one Hershey bar every two hours is what we're on pace to achieve. So were you able to guess the name of all five shuttles? I was only able to guess three. There is Atlantis, Challenger, Columbia, 
discovery, and endeavor. How did you do? Let me know in the little poll up above. There was a six shuttle, but it never flew into space. What was it? This is the stand for the shuttle when it's going to sit on top of this. At least that's my guess. So, the space shuttle that was never flown into space is the Enterprise. It was only used for test landings. Did you get it right? Let me know. Moving on to our next question. What is the maximum payload capacity of the space shuttle? Let's build. Get 65,000 pounds, you would be correct. That is the payload capacity of the space shuttle. Another way to think about it is this that is the equivalent of 263,363 Hershey bar XLs. Or you could put five large African elephants in the payload bay of the space shuttle. It's massive. This build isn't brought to you by Hershey's, but it should be. Back to the build. hours onto the build clock and it looks like right now we're working on the landing gear. Set that aside. We're moving on to bag number six. Okay, what was the longest time that a space shuttle orbited the Earth on a single mission? Take your guess. Answer the poll above. We're on bag seven to 17 on page 111 in the book. It doesn't look like I've really accomplished much, but this seems like the base or the bottom of the shuttle so far. Did you guess 17.5 days? If you did, you would be correct. That was the longest time that the shuttle orbited the earth on a single mission. Which shuttle flew on the most flights? Columbia, Discovery, Challenger, Space Shuttle Discovery. It flew 39 missions in its operational lifespan. Shuttle Discovery also clocked in 148,221,675 miles on its odometer in its lifespan. Could it have flown to the moon and back? Now, could the space shuttle have ever actually got to the moon? No, not really. There's a good video on YouTube by Scott Manley. Scott Manley calculates out 
that it could probably make it there, but not back. Bag number 10, about three and a half hours into this Lego build. I get to building these next few bags. How many movies has the space shuttle appeared in? Hmm, write down your list and we'll see if you guessed as many movies as I did. Don't Google it. Okay, so how many of those movies did you guess? Did you get them all right? Let me know up above in the poll. I got five out of eight. It's pretty good. I've never seen Sharknado 3. We are on bag 14. Time-wise, I am at five hours and 15 minutes into this build. Whew. Didn't seem like that long. It's gonna be big. How many people have flown on the space shuttle? Is it 98, 192, 251 or 355. We're getting close to the end. shuttle has shuttled 852 astronauts. Now, some of those are multiple flights. So a total of 355 individual flyers or astronauts have flown on the space shuttle. That's people representing 16 different countries around the world. 306 men and 49 women have flown on the space shuttle. Bye, number two. Wheels down. Oh, so excited. <laughs> that is awesome. Here's all our little extra pieces. Quite a few. So now you have to wonder, are these extra pieces or are they pieces that I forgot to put somewhere? Hey, this is a really fun kit to build. This thing is huge. If you compare it to the Atlas, it is about half the length, half the size. You can turn the little flaps back there. Tops move, engines open so they can be worked on. Crashes in space. And there we are six and a half hours later. 
The LEGO NASA Discovery Kit is complete. This kit was great value for money. I loved building it. And there's lots of things to do with it. Lots of play options available for this thing. It's just a really, really cool kit. If you were paying close attention, you may have noticed that I made quite a few mistakes and I had to keep going back a couple of pages, figure out where I made the mistakes and went forward. But like I always say, if you're not making mistakes, you're not making things. I'd also really like to thank my first Patreons, Ian Hughes and Scotty Sales. Thank you guys very much. I really, really do appreciate it. If you want to become a Patreon and support the channel, go ahead and click on one of the links below. If you do anything, please leave a comment. Let me know. Did you get the trivia right? I'm curious, how many of you did? Did you find it fun? What do you want to see me build next? Anything and everything, let me know below. And if you enjoyed watching me build this video, you're probably gonna enjoy one of these other videos here. I'm Zach Sedewong, and remember, go out there and build something. What are we gonna do with you now? We can turn off the camera and we're going to play like an adult man in his garage playing with Lego toys. Look at how real this kit is. The Hubble Space Telescope did not deploy correctly the first time and needs to be repaired. I think we finished that. Well, that's good enough. Boop, boop, boop.